Right guys, welcome now to Ilkley Golf Club and the qualifier for the PGA English Champs. And I was really looking forward to this event and I have come away posting my first ever no return as a professional for sure and probably at least 18 years, say, since I was an amateur. Hey, just me. Um, I'm going to be jumping in every now and again to offer some perspective on this review because I do... Uh, get a little bit of mosh. I was pretty tired and the sun had got to me, I think. Uh, just one thing to say, a lot of you guys have been asking why I didn't finish. Was it because of um, any injuries or anything? So over the last few years, I have struggled with injuries. Now, my left wrist, which was the problem kind of last year, that is an ongoing issue. So really since last year, every now and again, when I do hit a bad shot, mostly kind of a heavy one or I take a big divot, I do still feel it. And I did feel it at times today, but it, it wasn't enough to stop me playing. Uh, that's just an issue that I need to keep managing, basically. Um, and the only thing I can't do is really just smash loads of balls at a driving range. But that had nothing to do with the performance today. Now, obviously, this is massively disappointing um my form this year has been relatively good in the few comps that i've played in but i've come second in one and today i am hoping i am hoping that i've got all my bad luck out on one nine holes so i was on the 16th hole when i nr'd and i was seven over now if you know ilkley if you played it if you've not basically the 16th hole is a very elevated tee i've hit my tee shot it's just gone to the right of the fairway it's plugged and I couldn't find it. And the way that I was playing and what was going on, there was no way I was going back up to the tee. So that is when I NR'd. So you can see I was losing strokes against the pro baseline in literally every single aspect of my game, apart from driving, which is an interesting one that I'll loop back around onto. Um, but my putting, my short game was pretty rubbish today I've got to be honest and then my approach play was down as well so the first thing to say is I was using my new wedges today so the new Vokies that I have I've not tried them in competition yet and this was only the third chance that I've had to use them onto the golf course now in hindsight I maybe should have put more practice in well to be fair I didn't have time to but maybe should have used my old wedges for a little bit longer before I got used to my Vokies but I've just not had chance and after the first hole I kind of thought I was on a winner. So the first hole, I've absolutely bombed my drive over 300 yards, straight down the middle of the fairway, and I've left myself in with a flick on a wedge. And I've slam dunked it. I've slam dunked my little wedge shot into the first hole. It was 84 yards, I think. A little knockdown sand wedge, straight into the hole, little clip off the flag. And this is where, certainly on the front nine, my bad luck just kind of started, if you want to look at it like that. Because yes, it's slam dunked, but it's gone straight up out of the hole, straight up almost as high as the flag, and then got about 10 to 15 foot right of the hole. I have just missed my putt, so started off with a par, but I was feeling pretty confident at that stage. Now, the original part of the review here, I bang on for a good few minutes here about basically how unlucky I was on the front nine. And I've got to be honest, I, I was very unlucky on the front nine. There's a few bad breaks that I had which were absolutely horrendous. Uh, the one that I'm going to get around on to, and I'll just do it now, uh, the par three fifth hole, where I hit a shot to the right of the green, had an awful lie in the rough, like could only advance it into a bunker, but it plugged in the face of a bunker, pretty much under the lip, off a chip shot. And then kind of, I had to get it out sideways, the only thing I could do, and then I hit a bad chip and a putt. And the whole of the front nine was a little bit like that, when I hit good shots, I wasn't converting the putts, not because I was hitting bad putts, they were good putts, but they just weren't dropping. It was just one of those days on the green. And then when I hit a bad shot, it was bad enough to put me out of position. So I made the turn in plus four and... Very strange looks off the green keepers here. It's okay, I'm doing a review, it's all good. So anyway, I'm a little bit perturbed. And then on the back nine, I keep missing fairways. I keep putting myself out of position by not a lot, only a few yards, but the course here is so tight that I just wasn't able to really attack any holes. And then when I did, I was hitting some really good putts and they just were not dropping for. And the two lads I was playing with as well, George and Isaac, um, they actually played pretty steady. George had a really unlucky finish, which I won't dwell on too much, but he may be in and around the cut for the playoff to make it. Isaac shot six under and is about five in the lead. Isaac, by the way, absolutely hold the world today. He was putting so, so well. 
lesson to be learned there. He was also keeping it in play a lot. Um, so where I was missing just to the side of the fairway, blocking myself out with a tree, he was to the opposite side of the fairway, giving himself a line in. So again, much better course management from him. Generally, the scoring today, not very good because it's just such a tight, tricky call. I would love to come back here in the summer and give it another go. But there's also other stuff today, apart from my poor short game, apart from not putting myself in position off the tee, they really kind of hit home. I mean, one of the reasons I didn't go back to the tee on the 16th as well, I was already kind of out of it, so I wasn't going to make the cut. So there's 10 spots available to get through. I wasn't going to be anywhere near that. I kind of knew that. So it was a bit of a wasted time. There was a group behind. I didn't want to hold them up. But also, guys, I was shattered. I'm, I'm absolutely knackered. I've, I've had a long, amazing week. There's no doubt about it. But as far as preparing for a competition is concerned, it was a terrible way to prepare. God, what an absolute whiner. Uh, it was amazing when you take yourself out of a situation for about an hour uh, just to maybe appreciate uh, what I've been banging on about. Um, it is true what I'm saying. I am absolutely knackered. Uh, but please just understand I'm, I'm a little bit emotional here uh, when I'm speaking. So I was in Carnoustie on Monday and on Tuesday and I drove down here yesterday, had a practice round, long round actually yesterday as well, loads of holes and then play today. And I'm shattered, guys. Honestly, I'm I'm absolutely knackered. I, yeah, because this is the biggest challenge that I'm going to have this year is actually balancing what I'm doing work-wise and what I'm trying to do quest for the open wide. Because unless I can find a way to just carve out a little bit more time to actually practice and to play in competitions, I am not going to get anywhere near that ultimate goal. I mean, the, the goal for this year is to really try and get past pre-qualifying. So get past that first round of qualifying and get to final qualifying. That's the goal, you know, I wanna get past that first step. And I feel I'm more than capable of doing that. But when I put myself in a situation where I'm just knackered and I'm going into a competition and I'm carrying my own bag, what a stupid thing that was to do, by the way, in this heat, it's just bad planning. So I need to try and figure out a way to make sure I'm putting myself in a position to actually play in practice. Because if I don't, then all of this that I'm trying to do is just gonna be me getting frustrated and annoyed because, and I shouldn't be because I have what I consider one of the best jobs in the world. I'm doing something I love. I mean, this week I've been in Carnoustie, I've been down here, I've been traveling absolutely all over the place. But to actually try and succeed in one of the goals that I want to, it's gonna be impossible if I don't figure out a way. Hi, Perspective P here again. Um, I just wanna jump in here and give a little bit of perspective. Uh, when you put yourself out there like I'm doing with the Quest for the Open videos, because the, the whole point of the Quest for the Open videos, guys, if you are new to the channel, and even if you've been following me for some time, is to improve my game so I can learn and I can pass on the information to you because I am someone who learns the best when they're doing something, when they're trying to apply it to themselves. I'm not someone who can learn by not being practical, if that makes sense. But when I put myself out there and I don't perform well and I don't play well, it does hurt because at the end of the day, I'm transmitting this to anyone who wants to watch it. So that's why I take it maybe a little bit more emotionally um, than perhaps I should do. But just so you get that perspective. It's obviously a very disappointing day golf-wise, but hey, spring is here, summer is here, and it's always the same. If you have a bad round because everyone does it, because like I said, golf is a hard game, it's how you bounce back and it's how you prepare for your next competition, which for me is in a few weeks, and it is about pre-qualifying for the PGA Champs as a whole, which I... I need to certainly perform better for. And it's a Delamere Forest, one of my favorite courses. So hopefully I can pull it together for that event. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Sorry I couldn't deliver any better news, but hey, listen, this is about the journey. This is about trying to get better one step at a time. And I need to learn lessons from this experience as I move forward. George and Isaac, thank you so much for your company today. George and Lucky, I do hope you make it through. It's just a couple of bad holes at the end. And then Isaac, brilliant play today. Six under round this course. You did hold the world. It was really good to watch. And hopefully I can emulate you in a few upcoming comps. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. I'll see you down here next time.